Hello there, my name is Sam from What the Hectagon Math Tutoring, and I'm here to explain a sort of general calculus question to you all. So the question is, let f be a twice differentiable function on the open interval from a to b. And we have to determine which of the following statements are true. So before we go about determining which statements are true, let's make sure we understand what the question is saying. So f is some function, maybe f of x, f of t, it doesn't really matter what variable we pick. But the point is, is that it is twice differentiable, meaning that we can take two derivatives of that function um, over this open interval from a to b. So a and b will be some real numbers, and a being less than b. So we have to determine which of the following statements are true. So the first question is, if f double prime of c is positive, meaning the second derivative of the function at a particular value c between a and b is a positive number, then the graph has a local maximum at x equals c. So we can see at a glance that this isn't necessarily true because we would know that it has a local maximum or minimum at x equals c if the first derivative of the function is zero. That tells us nothing about whether or not the second derivative is positive, negative, or zero at that point. So this claim is not true in general. So we would say no, not true. I'm using big X to mean no, I don't know. Or we could say uh, F for false. So F is false. The next claim, is the graph f has a local minimum at x equals c. The graph has a local minimum, not minimum, minimum at x equals c if f double prime of c equals zero. So again, this is not true because local minimums and maximums are determined by the first derivative, not the second derivative. Second derivatives are zero at inflection points, not minimums and maximums. Um, and so again, this claim is not true in general. So this is false. The next question is, or the next claim we have to ask or consider is the concavity of the graph changes at an inflection point, changes at an inflection point point. Now, this, uh, this is what this one's a little more vague. So this actually has nothing to do with, you know, our, it only matters that our function is twice differentiable. This is just sort of almost always the case. Um, the concavity of a graph changes at an inflection point. Basically, what this is saying is the function goes from being concave down as in the slope is decreasing to being concave up as in the slope is increasing at that point where they swap, and that would be where the second derivative is zero. But this doesn't necessarily have to be true because we could have a function that is concave down and reaches a point where the slope, you know, maybe right, maybe right here, it actually stops going down, right? Because you can see with my drawing, the slope is going down because it's going from super positive to less and less positive. But then maybe it could, you know, stop for one moment as in it, it, discon it, it stops decreasing, but then after that moment, it continues decreasing again, right? There's no reason why that should be disallowed. And so technically an inflection point where the second derivative is zero, as in the slope stops changing, doesn't necessarily mean that the function goes from being concave up to concave down or the other way around. Um, so theoretically, yeah, you could have a point on a graph where the second derivative is zero at that moment, but it is still both negative or both positive on either side of that uh, inflection point uh, of that that point where the second derivative is zero. So, but if you define an inflection point as somewhere where the 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 slope actually does go from decreasing to increasing or the other way around, then sure, yes, an inflection point is where the concavity changes, but it is not necessarily the case. So this is sort of a half true, half false one, really depending on what your definition of inflection point is. But if I would say that since you can, in fact, have a point on the graph where um, where the concavity or the, the second derivative can be zero, yet the concavity does not change, I would say that this is false as well. 
Um, the next claim we have to consider is if f is increasing, then the function or the graph, then the graph of f is concave down. And of course, this is also false because we can find cases where, sure, it's increasing and it's concave down, but also increasing and concave up. So there is no general truth to this statement. And so once again, we can label this as false. So this is a false claim, or it's simply not true in general. So far, we haven't found a single universally true claim. And although, you know, you might you might take um, take umbrage with the fourth one that we considered or the third one, I'm sorry, because it uh, because it, it, it might be true depending on your definition of uh, inflection point there, but that really depends. And the final claim we're going to consider is the graph F is concave up if F double prime is positive. So the graph of F is concave up if F double prime is positive, positive on the open interval from A to B. And finally, we have come upon a claim that is actually true in general, because this is by definition what it means for the second derivative to be positive. If the second derivative is positive, that means that the first derivative is increasing, right? And that means that the slope is, is going from low to high, right? It's going from negative, then it's zero, then it's getting positive again. The slope is increasing. So finally, the final statement we have to consider is in fact true. The graph F is concave up if F double prime is positive on the open interval A to B. So that is all the claims that were asked to be considered. Thank you very much for watching.